If the first thing he say is, can you cook? Go on, on. that's a red flag. And if she says she can, <laughs> then you need to run that's, for the hill. That's a red flag, honey. If he start first thing he want to know, can you cook? Can you make biscuits like my grandmama? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, I was bad. Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go, y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Hey, my connectors, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Join the family if you like the food. It's the place to be. Then come and have a little fun with your girl, can't see. What's up my connectors and welcome back to the channel. So today we are having some birria tacos. I have four birria tacos. I have nachos, guacamole, um, corn in a cup. I forgot the right name. My bad. So anyway, if you are new to the channel, if you could please hit your subscribe button and your notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. Don't forget to share, like, and leave me a comment. I truly appreciate it. So let's jump in while it's hot. Let's get some guac because I see the steam on that. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I love guacamole. If you love guacamole, raise your hand in the comments. <laughs> Drop it down below. Okay, let's jump in. Mm. It's hot. Oh, it's hot. I'm oh, going to put some tapatio in there. Tapatio is my favorite hot sauce when we're eating birria or Mexican tacos. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mm. Put a little lime on there. extra onion on the side. I love a lot of hot sauce. I'm going to talk in a minute. I'm going to get one down. It's kind of big, too. Ooh, that pepper hot. Mm. 
Want to taco? It's hot. You want none? No. Wow, I can't. I'm going to make my pancake. Get a taco, you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. You know, I, I, I feed my baby because she feeds us. <laughs> she done made a mini mukbang for us. Mm. The lime is really good too. On here. This is supposed to be a jalapeno pepper, but it smells so hot. And I was going to tear it apart and put, put it on my taco, but I'm scared. It looks real hot. Let's get something to drink. So, hey y'all. doing thank y'all for watching the video yesterday child you know he showed up he started off lying he loves to come show up anyway look that was a fun video <laughs> There was a couple things I wanted to... Oh, this one look real big. Let me get this one. Go in order. Go in order. All right, let's put some extra onions. Oh, y'all want to see the inside? I'm going to put extra onions. I know some of y'all don't like extra onions, but I do. Y'all know that. Put some lime on here. But you want some chips? Yeah. Mm. And it worked. Mm-hmm. We got a plate. Yeah, I get one. They love to gather and hand talk. <laughs> you can't get enough of me. What I'm doing now. Tell to connect his hands. Hello. Tell him you apologize for lying yesterday. About what? I don't know. Half of them questions. Half of them questions. Did you tell him about the man you oh, were okay. with? I was not flirting with that man. Oh, here. You get what you want and then bring him back or whatever. Oh, man, you're mom. No, I'm talking about the guac. Go ahead. Get what oh, eat it. No, you finish and then let no. me have what's left. Yeah, I just put some on the plate. Yeah, they all laughing in the comment. No, oh, I'm a kid, such and such. Then he lied, talking about I ain't do no dance for him. His memory bad, y'all, so don't believe nothing he said. Talking about him. Okay. 
So you don't remember the red shorts and the kitten heels. I got pictures now. Don't make me pull them out. I got pictures too. Okay then. We ain't gonna even start today. <laughs> we ain't gonna start today, y'all. Connectors want me to post them. <laughs> we ain't gonna start, y'all, okay? That's what we're not gonna do. A line on got pictures in the six inch Oh, so do. <laughs> That's right, y'all. So when he be trying to make y'all make y'all believe that I don't do such and such, okay. That's why I take pictures. We ain't on that today, y'all. Okay. So anyway, but yeah, I do appreciate y'all watching. <laughs> if you haven't seen the uh, part one and part two of the Truth and Spicy Challenge, I'll link them. I don't know. I put them up here in the description thing, or I'll link them in the description box, or I'll put them in the community post or something. They both was fun. It was fun. We always have fun with the connectors because we got a connection. <laughs> mhm. Mm that thing thick. Anyway, this is what I want to talk about today, y'all. So I was on Instagram. Look, Instagram. And they was talking about the uh, the red flags in relationships. Them <laughs> people had me dying laughing. So, let me know some red flags in relationships that you would warn the other connectors about or warn each other about. Because they did have some good ones. And some of them I was guilty of. Cause I was like, dog, they trying to mind me on this one. <laughs> I'm going to read some of them, y'all. But I thought that was so funny. Mm. I thought that was so funny. I am so guilty of that. Well, was. Not am. Was. When I was dating. Way, way, way back in the day. But y'all let me know y'all. Cause you never know who it may help. There's people out there right now that's dating online or dating, you know, in general, just trying to find a companion. And there may be clear signs that you need to watch out for. And this is goes for the guys and the girls, not just the women. It's for men too. Like, look out for certain things. I mean, just talking to them, uh, tell you a few. I think I got about five. Some that pertain to me and some that happen to friends and family. Some I wish I would have taken heed to. Clear signs. Clear. I mean, in your face. Knock you in the mouth. All, <laughs> all that, okay? Mmm. Did I tell you I had the corn in the cup? I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Y'all know when we have beer, I usually want Kiana to make me a um, mango nada. Or a kit to make a tequila or something. Drink, but... Won't have stuff for either one, I don't think. Mm. Want some corn, baby? No. I'm good. Eat something. No. I have to make my food first. You want a little bit? Yeah, okay. Well, you just walking around in circles. 
Tasty. Tasty. Kaki, I don't know whether she want to cook <laughs> or she want to order food. And she literally been walking around the kitchen for 30 minutes. It's because, it's because like, I, I have everything I need to make what I want here. And she stayed up all night, so I thought she would be asleep all day. When she called, she was like, no, I'm up. I'm like, girl, I thought he'd be asleep. Mm. Should I just order taco? <laughs> Tastes good, though. See, I'll get you one of these tacos, girl. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna order my tacos. I'm gonna buy a little piece of this pepper. Man, that corn is good. That corn is good, I told you. Oh, it's not. I lied, it's hot. It is hot. My little tap of tea will be getting low. all fun y'all not to be taken you know too seriously or where it's debate we got to be debating you know my experience may be different than your experience and your experience may be different than the next person's experience I'm gonna say one of the red flags if they show any sign of jealousy in the beginning of the relationship while you're dating that is a clear red flag any sign of competing with you if you make more or if you um may have a bigger anything than them and they show signs of jealousy and not just happy for you, don't even do it. Don't even worry about it. Because they're going to always try to say stuff to make you feel bad about what you're doing or where you at or what you got or compare it to or that must be nice or that kind of stuff. Mm-mm. That is a clear red flag. Because I'm like, I want somebody that's going to be happy for me, not in competition with me. If I achieve more, get more, you're not intimidated by it. It doesn't bother your ego. It probably it should push you to want to work harder. Or just be indulged in what you do. You know? But my number one, that ain't even my number one. My number one is if you are dating. And y'all know how I feel about this one. And they raise their voice or curse you. Anything in the beginning of the relationship. Baby, get up out of there. Quick. If they got a really bad temper, I'm not waiting for nobody to change. I'm sorry. When people be saying, you know, people can change and, you know, you have to teach them. No, nope, not me. Bye. Thank you. That's the num my, That's my number one. Just say we just had a misunderstanding about when we were going to go out or anything. And they just showed me that they can get have a really bad temper. Or I'm out. I am out. 
even if you and your past mate um, fought or anything like that, I'm gone. Uh, what's another one? These are just mine. I'm going to read some of the other ones. I'm going to film. Mm. If their behavior changed drastically after they consume alcohol or anything else, <laughs> like for the worst, not just goofy laughing, sleepy, you know, something like that. No. If it, if you get if you one of them angry people after you drink and you want to fight and turn tables upside down, no, I'm good. Mm -mm. And then you say something like, "Oh no, I don't even remember none of that from last night." Oh no, <laughs> no, I'm straight. I don't even remember what happened. Mm mm. No, that's another one. Mm mm. Oh, I don't said I won't eat all. Let me just eat a little bit more. Mm. I love that crunch on there. Let me see what else. If they have, I mean, this is just dating, but it's still things you have to watch out for. If the only thing they want to do is go out and everything, everything, you don't have no personal life. Everything has to be put on social media. Every misunderstanding, every situation. So if they resolve conflict on social media with people, like you have to air out what happened you know, that's that's another thing I watch. I would watch out for. If you have to resolve a conflict between you and another person, and you have to blast everything on social media, like everything they told you, all the stuff they confided in that person, I'm not going to look at what you're telling me. I'm going to look at how you're handling the situation after you all have broken up or after you all are no longer friends or whatever. That's a red flag. Because if you and I are no longer talking, then I'm not going to go on social media and blast you about all the things that you confided in me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's messed up. So you, oh, I got text messages. I'm a, uh-uh. Mm-mm. I am a uh uh mm mm i do not want to do that. We're not doing that. Let's just no longer be friends. Or we're just no longer dating or whatever. But yeah, if I see you drag somebody else in the mud after y'all go your separate ways, I'm going to look at you like that. Mmm. That's how you handle stuff. No, thank you. And that go for friendships, too. Oh, yeah. And then if you're a guy or girl, that while you was with the person, they was the best thing to slice bread. Now that you all are broken up, you done dragged her the, the, with them, their family, and everything else. Mm-mm. Nope. Mm-mm. That's another one. Oh, uh, what's another red flag? Mmm. Somebody that always blame everybody else. You never hear them say, you know what? I played a part of that. I was wrong. I could have handled that better. But that victim, 
It's always somebody else's fault. Mm-mm. Red flag. That's a red flag. You are never wrong. <clears throat> Even if you said, dang, I wish that situation would have went a little different, you know? I wish we could have worked that out a little better. You know, I wish them well or whatever. It didn't work out so what. But when you always the victim and everybody else is always wrong. All the time. No. I'm straight. Mm-mm. But yeah, so y'all let me know some of y'all. <clears throat> trying to think. Babe. So what, <clears throat> what's trending now is red flags, right? While you're dating. So what's some of the red flags you would, could tell people about? Some of the red flags? Yeah, be like, watch out for a person that does such and such. Uh, pop up at her house unannounced so you can see, you know, if she just cleaned up before you got there. <laughs> so you say, you say it pop up? Yeah. And, and after, here's a red flag. If after, he pop up at your house. You get to know her, not, <laughs> not just. If he pop up at your house and didn't call before. That's the red flag. Don't date him, girl. <laughs> girl, don't girl. Don't date him. Mm -mm. If you pop up on it, she let you in. <laughs> <laughs> look, look like Hurricane Ida did hit. <laughs> 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 <No. laughs> oh, MG. That's funny. Red flag. Uh, but that is a good one. That is. There, there was one you had from one of your things before. What was that? Yeah, that is a good one. Um, I cannot remember now. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I can't remember some of these ones that said that. Oh, if somebody says, "Believe what you want to believe," they said that's a red flag. Maybe the people are like, all right, believe what you want to believe in. About what? But it could be about anything. If you go and ask somebody, you know, were you, did you go out to the club? I look like I saw you. And somebody say, no. And I'd be like, what? I saw your car, but it looked like you. I just couldn't get close because the club was so packed. Well, just believe what you want to believe. <laughs> I'd be like, y'all, that's well, what this person said. Yeah, if you can't get basic honesty <laughs> up front, then yeah. It, it oh, this issue. girl say when a dude uh, pick up his phone, like, dog, why this dude calling me? Hold on, let me get this real quick. <laughs> you know it's somebody else on the phone. It ain't no dude. Why would you have to go through all those gyrations? I'll just say, let me take this call real quick. Shy, you know how they do. Why do you have to announce it? Mm. It's none of your business. We just dating. <laughs> if they me? say somebody say send me some pics that's a red flag why <laughs> no that's what this person is saying that may be what she you know what she encountered has she never met the person before what are they trying to get to know each other somebody pop up on you and be like hey send me some pics no not if i don't know you yeah she's this dude say uh uh, text slow but always on social media like if you text them mm -hmm. and they don't text you back for a couple of days and you know they posting on social media that's a red flag oh yeah so they're saying this stuff is like, like that the phone call. oh this one says when he doesn't know how to <laughs> when he doesn't know how to use the right your and your that's oh a red yeah flag. They, if they cannot Oh, babe, come on now. 
I don't think that's fair. If you can't write English, <laughs> that is a huge red flag. <laughs> if everything you write is is uh, short, is in acronyms, we gonna have. For me personally, we gonna have a problem. Mm mm mm. Oh, you would say that's a red flag. Uh, run-on sentences. <laughs> oh my God! No capitalization. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. If you can't communicate writing, then you can't communicate verbally either. Babe, they texting you. Right. Exactly. So you don't want nobody where you got to be like, man, what does that mean? Exactly. <laughs> I'm actually a dad. <laughs> and I, don't, I don't want anybody write art road writers. <laughs> Okay, well this girl said, if they say my car in the shop, that's a red flag. Could be. I don't get it. I don't but, think that, I think people can't be in the shop all the time. But my car was in the shop. <laughs> right. Well, well, when I met him, his car was in the shop. I'm like, can't he get a ride? I should have known then, girl. I should have known. I'm like, can he get a ride? I should have been like, uh-uh. Oh, you can't give me a ride up the street? What kind of car you got with? It's in the shop. Mm-mm. It was getting service. I should have known. Dog, I should have ran right then, girl. I wish <laughs> I'd have known you before now. And that same car took us on a date. Oh. And my feet was on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Holes all in the bottom of the car. I'm just playing, y'all. You know, getting well, my friend. I'm always in it. If the first thing he say is, can you cook? Go on, on that's a red flag. And if she says she can, <laughs> then you need to run that's, for the hill. That's a red flag, honey. If he saw first thing he wanna know, can you cook? Can you make biscuits like my grandmama? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I was bad. Can you you see you don't know how to make biscuits? Like yeah, you don't you don't know how to cook like my grandmama. Girl, don't let him do you like that because he don't know how to build a house like my daddy. Don't even know how to put a nail in the wall. <laughs> So, oh, no. so like now you do, now you do. Don't do that. Child, when we first got married, couldn't fix nothing. Now later on, he started fixing everything. But in the beginning, all he wanted to do is put you down by, do you do you make biscuits like my grandmama? You know what I'm saying? And I should have. I don't know why and he she flipped still the script. Can't make I sure can't. I don't make biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> right. He I should I should have said, can you build a house and fix a house like my daddy? Or my granddaddy. That's what I should have said. Shoot. Always throwing up something like that. Ooh, trying to get up, girl. And I I got some stories for y'all. You hear me? And so do I. So whenever y'all want to get in. <laughs> when I, whenever y'all want to get down to the in, in the beginning of the marriage. <laughs> If y'all want to ever know about the beginning of our marriage, that's why I say ain't no couple goals over here, baby. We just try. <laughs> a couple that's trying. That's what we are. But no, that, it used to be so funny. But we used to have some, some hot, we boost the butt heads for real. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, that's so funny. But anyways, y'all, this was really, really, really good. I said I'm going to eat all these, but I eat a lot. So thank y'all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Much love. Food in my mouth. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. And until the next video, continue making connections with endless possibilities. I love y'all. Bye, y'all.
Babe, well, how did you out the blue find something? Did you tell me to look for something? You sent me the text, the email. I didn't so send you no email. You didn't send me an email from Royal Caribbean. I don't have time for that. I got a whole video to shoot. <clears throat> Good God. About the, about the cheap rates for Florida. It wasn't from the Royal Caribbean. I mean, from the, um, what I'm saying is it wasn't from no, um, Royal Caribbean. It must have been that celebrity thing I showed you. No, that was Royal Caribbean. No, that was celebrity, babe. Check it, check your thing now. Check your thing. Now this one came in here to eat my taco. Welcome to the after party. Don't make me get started. Okay. He's such a good father. Such a good father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because um, I want I want to give him his gift early so I can help him set everything up and everything. Ooh, and also we should stop by downtown. Disney so I can get the cake from uh, Gideon's. You getting him a cake from Gideon's? Mm hmm It's cause last year, last year, my Christmas- No, I'm just saying, you ain't offer me no cake from Gideon's for my birthday. <laughs> uh, yeah, but Khalil's turning 22, so I, it's special. Khalil turning 22? What they got to do with that thing? Uh, he's in the prime of his life. <laughs> I couldn't even get a cupcake. What are, you, what are you talking about, mother? You celebrated on your birthday. You went to a... Uh, right. W went well. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I was like watching TV. Down right. There. Mom. Hey, old lady. You ain't do nothing for me. <laughs> Mom. You, know? you Mom. ain't do nothing for me. Uh, I didn't stop. Remember last You be week? going all out for your sibling. But I be right here as soon as you need something. Mom, I got you something for Christmas, remember? And you didn't even use it. <laughs> I got you a Christmas gift and you never used it. <laughs> you get on my nerves. Ooh, but it's gonna be so much fun because I'm gonna get him a cake from Giddy and I'm gonna set all the stuff up in the room before he gets it. Girl, you gotta be in line like an hour to get that cake from Gideon. Oh, I thought I could just pre-order it. Yeah, you do pre-order but don't you still have to get in line? That was good. What is the sourdough bread for? Eh, I just got it. <laughs> she was talking in that sourdough bread. <laughs> you ain't got to eat it! Yeah. I gotta go to the canteen. When you going? Without wine. What, canteen ain't got no wine? You mean Cooper Hall? I mean Cooper Hall. When you going? Yeah, when you going? <laughs> Greedy. You're not going, you, what time is it? You want to do a taste thing? When today? You gotta make an appointment, don't you? <laughs> anyway, bye y'all!